But tonight we are talking about Where You're At, the series. We are in episode five of Where You're At. And um, what we're going to be talking about, our topic of conversation will be why we are disappointed with our current outfits. Now, I'm sure you all agree and have all experienced at some point where you go to your wardrobe and you look, open it up and you just, you struggle. You struggle to put things together. You struggle to feel comfortable in them when you step out, okay? And you just need to know that you're not the only one who feels that way. So many people do. And it's um, so it's very, very common. And um, so we've spent thousands of dollars on clothing hanging in our cupboard and we don't relate to it or it doesn't relate to us or it doesn't feel comfortable. And we put the clothes on and we step out the door and we see the way other people are dressed and we feel, well, you know, I would also like to look good in my clothes. Everyone else seems to look so good in their clothes. Why am I so disappointed with my current client? current outfits in my closet all right what in my wardrobe closet or wardrobe whatever you want to call it um before we go any further i would like to uh, um suggest that you watch our episode four which was the previous episode um in this series where we covered a lot about you and we covered um why we have a wardrobe of clothes and nothing to wear and in that we discover some very very important information about you and how you should be dressing yourself so that you can relate to your wardrobe and your clothing so there's homework in episode four of where you're at which is called why we have a wardrobe of clothes and nothing to wear so if you are in youtube you'll find that in this um, series or if you're in the facebook group you just need to scroll to the previous where you're at episode okay so I do suggest that you um, go and listen because there's homework there that will help you with what we're going to talk about here. So when you finish here, you can go back there. Okay. So here's the thing. Women are changing. We as women, we wear so many different hats. We are in so many different roles as we go through our lives in so many different stages where we are at school, then we leave school, then we're in our 20s and we we're exploring the world and then suddenly we could be in our 30s and be with you know be a, a mother and suddenly our lives change because of motherhood and our priorities change and then we start losing ourselves because our children become our focus and then we find ourselves in our 40s and we're carrying a bit of weight and we don't recognize ourselves and so you all know the journey you're all in a different stage of that journey. And so, yes, we are changing all the time, but our wardrobes don't, okay? This is the problem. They don't catch up with us, okay? So we go into our wardrobes and we're digging in there and we're grabbing stuff out that used to work. And now suddenly it's not working anymore. And you look at yourself and you think, well, why? What's, what, why am I so dissatisfied with the way I'm dressed? Why can't I feel comfortable in my clothes anymore, okay? So the, there are a couple of reasons for this. And as I've explained, you are transitioning from one identity to the next as you travel through your life and take your journey. <clears throat> and so if your wardrobe hasn't stayed up to date with your changes, then yes, you are going to struggle to find something that feels right, that feels comfortable, that you can step out feeling yourself in if you haven't caught up with yourself in your wardrobe and this is something you're not taught as a child it's not something that anyone teaches us we don't our wardrobes don't come with the handbook and somehow you're just supposed to know what to do so really when you think back of all the money that you've wasted on clothes because you've stepped in and not bought intentionally because you didn't know you were meant to and that's why I'm helping you here with these series and eventually this Where You're At series will actually then break out into Facebook Lives. So, well, I mean, this is a Facebook Live, but we will actually be showing you clothing and options, okay? But for now, we're just starting with the beginning and helping you understand where you're at. So, your wardrobe has become outdated because you haven't changed. You've transitioned into different roles in your life and your wardrobe hasn't kept up. And so you're putting on the old clothes, but you've become someone else, all right? So when you step out, you don't feel comfortable and you're self-conscious because you know there's something right, but you can't work out what it is, okay? You're still trying to work out what's wrong. 
you think there's something wrong with you you step out you look see everybody else is looking amazing but you don't realize that the reason why you are feeling disappointed with your clothes is because your wardrobe is out of date okay and i don't mean as in timing or as in trends i'm talking as in in your life it's out of date it hasn't caught up to the date that you're at now because so it could be from the 70s or the 90s and you're in the 20s okay in the 20s and 20 20s so you know ha what have it when last did you update your wardrobe when last did you actually go in there and have a look and see what you've got when last did you dig deep back into the back of the cupboard or are you still just wearing the same three things that you can grab out in the front yeah everyone does it so what I need you to understand is that we are going through roles in our lives and the, all the world's a stage and I love that and that we are in the theater of life and it's very exciting to feel that we are part of a story. We're creating our own story as we travel through our different roles in our lives and we must embrace the different stages and, I, and excuse the pun but yes all the different stages that we travel through as we are on the, the world stage theater okay so you're confused you have now established that the reason why you're confused with your clothes is because you're where you are in different roles okay so you're you're confused because your clothes and your wardrobe are telling a different story to the role that you are playing at the moment all right so that's what that slide was and now we're talking about other things that could have changed all right you've gone into a different role in your life but you may have also changed shape so you may have put on a lot of weight or you may have lost a lot of weight all right but either way your clothes aren't feeling comfortable anymore and I've had clients come through the door at different stages of all of this and I've watched them where they've come in with clothes that just are too tight on them and then suddenly they've got these these clothes that are hanging like tents on them and then they're not comfortable in their clothes because they don't fit them properly anymore so they're very confused they don't know what to wear they don't know what to go and purchase because they've become someone else and this is what you need to understand is your personality changes as you travel all right and as you go through all these different stages okay so don't be too hard on yourselves the other thing that we're also inclined to do and we we'll all relate to this is we get caught up in a shopping spree where we discover that there's these huge sales on and we run in just so excited about what we might find and we grab this and we put that on and we try that and we come home with a bag full of stuff thinking oh well I've done so well I've got all these bargains and it's just amazing and then you go home and you put it up in your wardrobe and your cupboard and you realize that you're not going to wear it and the reason why you're not going to wear it is because it doesn't go with anything else in your cupboard okay so there you are thinking that you have done some amazing job and actually saved some money where in actual fact you haven't you've actually wasted money because you went shopping on a splurge you fell in love with something it looked good on the on the model it looked good in the picture on the on on the wall um you kind of squeezed into it or whatever it is you did and you brought it home thinking this is fabulous and now i know i've done it too and then there it hangs and there it sits in your wardrobe and you never touch it and the tag never comes off okay so this is what we need to stop doing because we start filling our wardrobes with stuff that don't work for us in our lifestyles they do they don't solve the problem they just create more confusion okay and this is where we want to help you because then you become anxious okay and with that's why you have to be very cautious of the fact that sometimes we go looking for clothes and we buy clothes and we're attracted to clothes because they look good on someone else okay did you hear that you're buying it because it looked good on the model it looked good in the picture on the wall in the magazine but it didn't you weren't so sure about it on yourself oh it has to work I'm just not you know I'm just not feeling good today but it'll look good when I get home anyway the price is good and you bring it home and no it doesn't work for you because you've got the wrong body shape you've got the right it doesn't work for anything you're not going to wear it anywhere because it doesn't suit your lifestyle and well honestly it's somebody else's personality it's not yours okay and so this is why you've got to now start thinking very carefully before you start buying stuff because actually you are wasting money and just creating more anxiety for yourself all right so we need a plan there needs to be a plan of action because you sit there with your wardrobe of clothes and you're so confused because you are buying what you like and you're not buying what you need 
So your voice in your head is saying, let's buy this. I love it. And you're coming home and you're not listening to your conscience, which is telling you, yeah, but where are you going to wear it? All right. Do you actually need it? Oh, but I love it. Yeah. But that's what the problem is. This can also become a huge problem for you is that you need to start. We need to actually work out the facts about the new you, the person that you are right now because you're confused. So you don't want to wear the clothes in your cupboard, but you're moving on to someone else. So you're grabbing stuff as you're running past through the shops and that's not working for you either. So now you, your bank balance is being affected. Your anxiety is raising and you don't know what's you don't know how to fix the problem. OK, and this becomes a big problem. I understand. So what we need to do, first of all, is establish what has happening, what has happened recently in your life that has changed you. Now, I know a lot of people refer to the pandemic. And yes, it has affected everyone because suddenly people weren't going to work. So they weren't wearing their work clothes. Then they were putting on weight because they weren't moving enough. And then when they could go back to work, the work clothes didn't fit them anymore. Or maybe they're not going back to work. Maybe they've had a baby and so they're now going to be staying at home. And a stay-at-home mum is going to wear different clothing because babies are vomiting on them and their babies, you know, they're getting chocolatey hands and food and all over them. And so they, their clothing is completely different. They're not going to be wearing their fancy clothes anymore, all right? Or maybe your children have left home or maybe you've just retired. So you're, you're, you're transitioning from one role to the next and that's, the theater, the stage of life, okay? So what we need to identify, first of all, you have to look at your life and go, well, what's changed? That I don't like my clothes anymore. Has my waistline changed? Has my occupation changed? Has my time where I spend most of my time changed? We need to be looking at all these things, okay? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you some more homework, all right? And this time your homework is going to be I want you to create a vision board. So first of all, I want you to think about what has changed in your world, in your life. Why, are your, why is your wardrobe not working for you? Okay, go and have a look. Go and have a sit down and a think. You dedicate this time to yourself. You're investing in yourself because you're going to be saving yourself a lot of anxiety and a lot of money if you can get it right. Okay, so I'm wanting you for your homework to get into Pinterest. If, and go and create an account and start looking at getting ideas of clothes, looking at just looking at the clothes, looking at what you like, what you don't like. Start thinking about, start writing that down, your new role, where you feel yourself traveling to. What, where, what are you transitioning to? And if that is the case, if you are, then your wardrobe doesn't match that anymore. So how do you want to be looking? How do you want to be dressing? And so you need to start collecting uh, some images and putting them on a board creating your own vision board, literally that you can go and look at and give yourself some time to think about it. Where are you going? What will you be wearing? How is it all going to work for you? Okay. It's very exciting to have this opportunity to do this. And I want you to do it because it's really going to make, it's very, very good for your confidence to do that. Okay. Now, as I've said to you before, the bottom line is to be very careful to keep the outfits you're choosing to wear those come those pictures that you're creating in the vision board keep it current <clears throat> and relevant to who you are becoming in other words don't just put pictures in there that you like it, you need to put pictures and images in there of clothes that you will see yourself wearing at different stay at, at different events or whatever it is that you're doing in your new lifestyle okay because if your current wardrobe represents the life that you've left behind perhaps you were a school teacher and now you are retired or you were a mum of three and you're now going back to a corporate job then your wardrobe's not going to service you okay it's now going to be a struggle every time you open the wardrobe because nothing there represents the new you and i think i've said that now enough times for you to understand what we need to do we need to think very carefully about what you want to wear in this new role that you are seeing yourself in okay whatever it may be that we have discussed all right so here at her smile we have a approach a very unique approach 
to helping women overcome anxiety because we cover all the areas. So people who are carrying, walking in a, and, um, and experiencing a lot of pain, it's because you're not moving correctly. And we teach you how to move and to strengthen your body correctly so that you have many aha moments. We help you reconnect with your pelvic floor because your pelvic floor is the bottom line to all your strength and confidence. We help you create your own personal food formula for a healthy waistline. We specialize in skin care, in makeup artistry for mature faces, and for helping you to dress for your changing role or your changing body, okay? So that you can step out without anxiety and full of confidence and present yourself beautifully to the world. And that's our mission, is to help every woman discover her smile. So what we want you to do is to think very carefully about everything that we've discussed today and go back and do the homework of all the previous episodes in this series and then tune into our next one in two weeks time where we'll be helping you take the next step in creating the right outfit for your ward creating the right wardrobe for your new life okay to create a wardrobe that you love so that you'll be happy in that wardrobe and you can step out with that beautiful smile because as i said our mission is to help every woman discover her smile and if you are looking for any help in the, any of this you know how to contact us all right i'm going to be putting it up here on the screen you can either email us or you can send us a text or you can um, go to our website and go through the can contact form um, you can leave comments below and we can get hold of you that way. If you're on um, YouTube, you can comment there or we will leave, leave, leave you links to click on. But there's no reason why you shouldn't be taking this exciting journey to discovering the new you. And we want to help you and guide you to make the right steps because we've done it with so many women. And we want to help offer you our experience and expertise to help you step out with that beautiful smile. Okay, so we would love to help you. Until next time, sending you lots of love.